Beautiful fish. Wow. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Fish. Oh, baby. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another video. Look at that sunrise. Really warm morning. Put the head cam on. Really warm morning, it's about 26 degrees already. This is um, 10 to 6 in the morning. Uh, it's going to be 43 degrees today, so I thought I was lying in bed. I woke up, I thought, stuff it, I'm going to go fishing for a few hours before it gets really hot. But look at that over the ocean. It's magic. So today, I am off to Powlett River again, just to chase some mullet and some brim. Um, the last video did really well, so I hope this one uh, does the same kind of thing. Hopefully it won't be as windy uh, like last time. And hopefully we can may maybe even get up to a brim this morning. Um, you know, obviously it's a bit, a bit earlier, so maybe there's a brim around the structure. So yeah, I'll uh, be there in about five minutes, so we'll have a chat then and uh, go through what we're going to be doing again. Catch you soon. What a stunning morning. Look at that, that's just absolutely magic. And worth getting up for at five o'clock, so. <coughs> Almost at the bridge again, we're going to fish the same spot. Lots of structure, fish love structure. Um, same method, burly in with bread. I might set up a longer rod, I might not. The longer rod helps you if you've got like a 12, 13 foot rod, just helps you connect with this, the small bites quicker than if you're using a 7 foot rod. You've got more line out of the water um, and you can yeah, be in touch with that feeder a little bit more and uh, be in touch with the hook. So. We'll see. I might get too excited though and just start with what I've got set up already. Ah, oh, look at that. That is... Absolute heaven. Look at that. Get at it. Alright, so same as last time. Breadcrumbs as bait. So that's lightly wetted down, just gradually. Just so as you can squeeze it into a ball like that, but it breaks down very easily. So what that's gonna do is form a cloud in the water. Um, so most of it's gonna sink to the bottom. When you squeeze it, but some of it's going to form like a cloud through the water. There's already bait fish moving around here, so I'm just going to roughly in the middle somewhere. It doesn't have to be 
too accurate. Perfect. Two balls of that to start. So as I'm setting up the rest of my gear and getting my chair set up and things like that, is that will already be attracting mullet into the area. So hopefully by the time I've uh, set up and cast out, there's fish uh, already around, but oh, what a morning. Who cares if you catch a fish? Have a look at this. It's just so special. I've just got the same setup. I'm just gonna use a short rod again. So that's a, what's it? Shakespeare Wild Series, I believe it is. Whiting rod. Um, seven foot with a Shimano Sienna reel. 2,500 size with four pan uh, fluorocarbon straight through. And that's going down to a burly cage feeder. That's got a 15 gram weight. So that'll sink to the bottom. Pack the cage full of breadcrumbs. And not sure if you can see there, there's a small size 12 hook. So as I said last time, you need a small hook um, because you're catching small fish. So you've got to be able to get them into the mouth and um, you'll get more, a um, lot of bites. Uh, and you'll get more fish if you have a big hook big bait I'll be nipping at it, but you won't be able to hook them because I won't be able to get the hook in the mat so Bit of common sense really So that's the setup All right, so that's the bait. That's just a prawn bought from the servo this morning You can buy these frozen So all I'm going to do is nip off tiny tiny chunks of that peel it and put that straight on the hook so it's going to be tiny bits of prawn with bread comes as burly. That's going to be the bait. That's it. The breadcrumbs packed in the feeder with the uh, prawn on the hook. Let's get the first cast out, see what we can get. Perfect. Just got to remember to keep that. Um, Keep that rod tight, keep that line tight. You know, as it's sinking, just just a very slow wind, just to keep that. All right, now we just wait. Hopefully it won't take too long. There's a bite. Oh. oh, did you see that for a bite? And I missed it. Oh man. <laughs> what a ripper bite that was. Jeez. Pulled the rod off the rod rest. Keep a close eye on it. Oh! <laughs> There we go. Is it? I have, but Jesus. What a bite from a <laughs> tiny fish. Go Brimbo, go. Oh, my good Lord. And you have swallowed it. So the best thing to do when they've swallowed it is just cut it off. because there's no way of getting that hook out without hurting that fish. So, did you see that for a bite? <laughs> From that, first fish of the day is a 10 centimetre brim. What a bite. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Legal size for brim is 28 centimetres in Victoria. So, yeah. See you, mate. Go on. 
Uh, what a legend. Try and encourage it again, if there's food left, if there's bait left. And there we go, we're onto our second fish. So it feels like a mullet. You. You know, and on this light gear, even these little guys are fun. There you go, first mullet for the day. See ya, mate. What the hell? This. Get up. What is that? Ah, oh, it's a bream. Look, <laughs> that's a good bream on bread. I was just saying, I don't think I'll be getting a bream on the bread, but there he is. Look at that little mid twenties bream on bread. Believe it or not. I didn't think I'd get any uh, brim on bread here. Come on. Other way. You can do it. <laughs> Beautiful. That'll be one. Straight away. Boom. Good pull round. Bit of mullet madness. <laughs> or is it a salmon? That's that's amazing. And that's where you want them. That's where you want them hooked. Right there. Jeez, they're going hard, these brim. Small fish. It's on the way over here, look. They're trying to jack me in the, in the rocks. Wow. How hard do they fight? It's like gear. Yeah. That's a nice bring. That's the biggest one of the day. Look at him. Oh, that's a river. Yeah, 30 centimetre brim, I'd imagine. Easy. That is a really good fish for the method that I'm doing today. Got to be happy with that. Beautiful. 30 centimetres. Maybe more. <laughs> That's awesome.
back again, like straight oh, under that bridge. Nice mullet. I got it, whatever it is. Oh, it might be a brim. Perth like a mullet. It is too, so that worked. What's he doing? Oh, he's in the bath. So there you go, that kind of worked. Wasn't a big brim, but what we did, because the mullet's gone a bit quiet, uh, out here and even under there, we just thought, get it in the shade, sun's getting up a bit. Um, bigger bit of prawn, maybe a brim. That's exactly what happened, so. It's one of those live baits. Perfect live bait. Perfect live bait. Have a go at that. Pew. There we go again. That's a brim. Oh. Not, not as big as the last one, but probably a 15 centimetre. Oh. It's kind of stopped fighting. Maybe not. Maybe it is a mullet. Ooh, that's a brim. Oh, jeez, I have a go. <laughs> a jumping brim. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. I'm having a great morning. to the left. Oh. Jesus, just so active. That's a brim, that's not, it's a salmon. Oh, he's... That's a bite. That's a fish. Another little, little brim boy. Perfectly hooked. Seems to be more of these guys around than uh, salmon this morning or mullet. <clears throat> See you mate. Good for kids. So, you know, you can see how many fish and how much fun you can have with um, Two dollar bag of breadcrumbs and a four four dollar fifty bag of prawns. There we go. They're back. Fish on, fish on, fish on. And a bit quiet there. I thought I'd film a bit of nature. Yellow eye there. See you, mate. Got him. 
got him! Nice, Gary! Oh! Don't tell me he's bricked me. Ah, he's out. What the hell? What is that? What? I think that's a gurnard. Wow, what a beautiful fish. But I ain't touching it. Never caught one of these in my so many years of fishing. I believe they've got a poisonous spike on them. See ya, mate. What a beautiful fish. Wow. It's amazing. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, another one done and dusted. Um, yeah, so good morning. Really good morning. Caught probably 20 fish. A um, couple of good brim in there. You know, we're not really after any really big fish, uh, but we've got a couple of decent brim for the method that I'm fishing today. So um, I've added a bit of bit of nature and a few bit of sunrise uh, images and. Um, yeah, to me that's part of fishing as well. It's not just about catching fish and um, um, you know, wetting a line. It's about the the sunrises, the wildlife, um, the beauty of our country, and um, I really enjoy relaxing and spending time in various places uh, with beautiful scenery. And I've caught some fish today, so that's a bonus. So I hope you enjoyed the video again. Please like and subscribe. I um, hope it's given you a few tips. Uh, it's a great way if you've got kids or you want to learn how to fish, learn to fish with the kids, uh, it's a great way to get them on the bank and catch them fish straight away. Um, I'll leave a link, I'll leave a description below of the gear that I used. Um, you can pretty much buy them from any hardware, BCF. Um, the feeders you get off eBay, they're a uh, swim feeder, which is a coarse fishing uh, thing from the UK and Europe, uh, but really good, work the same over here. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Tight lines, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.